There are now nearly 240,000 cases of coronavirus worldwide, and Italy has overtaken China with the most deaths. Their death toll has now passed 3,400. But there is a little hope out of Wuhan, the original epicenter of the virus. Wuhan reported no new coronavirus cases for the first time since the virus first broke out. Today, President Trump talked about a malaria drug that could be used to treat coronavirus. Well, Dr. Vincent Chan is a pulmonary and critical care medicine specialist, and he is on a COVID response team. He joins us now live with more on this drug and what it could do. Uh, we want to welcome you to our broadcast, doctor, first of all. I want to ask you a question. Um, we have heard that it's, this drug has been effective at treating uh, SARS, which is a pulmonary disease similar to COVID-19. What are your thoughts on this being used to treat the coronavirus? Well, there are a couple of studies that um, have been released over the last couple of years um, looking at hydroxychloroquine and its uh, effect in treating the original SARS virus a few years or several years back. Um, and, um, you know, and we're kind of looking at that in um, our uh, patient population today in seeing whether or not has, if, it, if it has any effectiveness in treating patients with COVID-19. So far, you know, there have been some studies that are um, hopeful. Um, there have been uh, some very limited trials that have um, shown that some patients are uh, responding well to the, um, to the medication. Um, but, you know, I think it's important to note that a lot of these uh, trials are extremely limited. Um, the number of patients that are included in many of these studies um, are very small. Um, but, you know, we're really hoping that we'll see much more um, studies coming out and much more data coming out. And hopefully it'll be something that we'll be able to use for our patients. Before we ask you about ventilators, doctor, the pharmacists of the United States say that drug that you're talking about is already on the list of drug shortages. So that would mitigate being able to use it even if it is effective, right? Yeah, I mean, hydroxychloroquine is a medication that uh, we've been using um, very widely for a number of different medical conditions. Um, it's a medication that uh, has been on the market for a long time. Um, and fortunately, it's a medication with very few side effects. Um, but, you know, now with a number of uh, patients that are, you know, being treated for respiratory disease, um, we're starting to use this medication more and more in all these patients. So. Um, I'm not really surprised uh, to see that, you know, we're kind of going through a lot of our stock and we're really hoping that a lot of the hospitals that are preparing for uh, severe respiratory disease um, are going to have enough um, to be treating our patients. Right now, we're um, really just reserving the medication for patients who have really moderate to severe disease. Um, and, uh, you know, the, really the hope is to try to decrease that viral load as much as possible um, so a lot of these patients won't have as strong of an inflammatory response uh, when they develop respiratory failure. Uh, so hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more um, data and hopefully we'll be able to use it more in our patients. On that drug and other antiviral drugs, we'd take anything right about now, Dr. Chan, that, that could possibly work. Uh, let's move ahead to ventilators. We, we understand there's a lot of concern that we just don't have enough to treat all the uh, coronavirus patients in our area. What do you know about that? What's your experience been? Well, right now, um, you know, I don't think we're really seeing too much of a crunch. I don't think we're seeing uh, too many issues with not having enough ventilators. But, um, you know, we have the benefit of seeing the experience from our colleagues over in Italy and China and New York, um, and, you know, where they're really being hit hard. Uh, and so we're absolutely um, concerned and we're trying to prepare for, um, you know, the possibility of not having enough ventilators for our patients. But, you know, I think that's really the reason why we're spending so much time emphasizing social distancing and, you know, things like good hand hygiene. And, you know, that's why we're really trying to push this concept of flattening the curve. Uh, because, um, you know, as soon as, it, the more we can decrease the rate of spread and, um, the fewer patients who have the disease at any given time, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, this won't be an issue that we run into. Yeah. All right, Dr. Vincent Chan. Doctor, thanks for taking your time and, uh, and filling us all in. Thank you.